we have installed a new instrument at in the center called differential scanning colorimeter, model DSC 250, with an automatic sampler. Um, instrument is connected to a cooling system, refrigerated cooling system, um, and operational temperature range is minus 90 to 550 degrees C in this configuration. Uh, it's got an automatic arm which will pick up the sample and reference load into the cell. It will run the test, then it will unload sample and reference back into the tray. Uh, Screen here will allow you to perform some operations. For example, if you wish to open the lid, it will go like that. The main operating part of the instrument is a DSC cell. Uh, it consists of two measuring platforms, one a reference one for your empty pan, another one is a sample one for the pan with a sample in it. Uh, and um, a reference cell, a reference position is closer to the back of the instrument, sample is closer to the front. Uh, the main purpose of DSC is to look at thermal transition in polymeric materials, and that can include things like determination of glass transition, uh, curing profiles, uh, oxidation time, uh, crystallization, and so on and so forth. Um, now, to run the instrument, we have to use aluminum pans. And we're going to show you how to use pen and lead, how to use press to put sample in, and how to set up an experiment to run it. To operate the instrument, we will need to use the TRIOS software. And the way to create an experiment is as follows. You click Create New Runs. Put sample name. Test polymer. You have to put position in which you put sample on the tray. So position one, you need to know weight of the sample. 8.3 milligrams. You need to put position for your reference pan. So for example, we use position four. Uh, operator, file name is shown as a sample name. And then you have to create a procedure. Uh, you can choose custom made procedure. In this case, you would have an editor with a set of segments or you can create just a simple RAM procedure. Uh, the sample which we're going to test today, it's going, uh, we anticipate to see glass transition at around 160 degrees, I was told. So what we're going to do, 
We're going to heat through glass transition temperature and see if we could catch anything. Uh, so I'm going to start from 35 degrees C heating rate, 10 degrees C per minute, up to say 300 or 250 C. You have an ability to discard pan after the run if you wish to do so. If you check this one, this box here, it will put your pan into waste bin on the instrument. Okay, my uh, run is ready to go. I have to make sure that my sample is in position one. And my reference is in position four. Uh, start. So you can observe that instrument will pick up a pen from position one, then four, put it in an appropriate position in a cell, and run will start. Okay, you can see on a status screen that it says test. It starts running, so instrument is performing this run. To add some more run to your uh, procedure, you just simply uh, No, sorry guys. <laughs> you should be able to add it actually, but I what this one load sequence fine. Ah no no no. And you can add as many runs as you want either during creating a sequence or while one test is running you can keep adding by changing sample position or reference position type of the test and so on each run does not really depend on previous or on next run uh, now as a result you will get some sort of curve if we look at typical DSC curve. This is a cyclic run of uh, PE, low density PE. Um, and you can see it was heat, cool, heat curve. 
you, there are a few options which you can do with it. For example, you can remove a step. You can uh, do analysis. Say you want to know beginning of crystallization, onset point. Analyze or you wish to look at enthalpy of your melting peak. The software will calculate it for you and put annotation and stuff like that. You can edit it and adjust as you wish.